Hey, this is Zach King with University of Mac. I'm gonna be giving you a Pages 09 overview today. Let's go ahead and get started by coming down to our dock and opening up Pages. If you don't have this icon here in your dock, go up to your search function and type in Pages, and you'll see it listed here. So I'm gonna open up Pages here, and when you first open the, up the software, you're gonna see you have a template chooser. We can simply open up a regular Word document here, and they've got a bunch of forms already ready, or we can go to a template that's pre-made. We'll cover this a little later. Let's just open up a regular blank document. Go ahead and choose that. Let's type in some text. Okay, so in our format bar here, if we go to this paragraph button, we can change this to an actual title. Zach King is going to be a heading, and we're going to leave this as is right now. Actually, I'm just going to turn this up to subheading. And so what we can do is select our title. Let's change this to Helvetica CY and by Zach King. I don't want that to be bold, so in my format bar, we have an option to put that back to regular. And I want to center I Love Latin as well as by Zach King using our format bar. Most of your tools are going to be here in the format bar that you're going to be using. If you've used Word before, you're going to notice you've got your fonts, you've got your bold, regular, etc. Type setting. This is a 28. I'm going to make this about, let's go 36 for the title. And we can also change the color. Let's go to a dark green. Now I'm going to drag a photo just simply by dropping and dragging here. You're going to see it looks like it just kind of messed up our entire setting. But I'm going to turn this instead of floating to inline so that I can drop this in the center between Zach King and I Love Latin. We can scale it down by selecting it and it'll scale down automatically with the correct proportions. Now our inspector up here is going to have more options than we have in the format bar and you're going to see if I want to select my photo I can hit picture frame under stroke and let's change this to good old picture frame here. We can continue to scale things down and this is looking really nice. Now when you first open pages for the first time I think it turns on your spell checker and so you can turn that off by going to edit, spelling, check spelling as you type. So if I click that it's going to show all these underlined words because yes the Latin looks incorrect in this program. So I'm going to usually write my essays or something with this off so it doesn't bother me. But if you like that you can keep that on. Now let me show you back to the templates here that we had earlier. This is the template chooser. You can go to that by hitting new from template chooser, shift command N, and I'm going to hit a page layout and let's just open up one of these letters. Uh, let's go with extreme newsletter. And this template is fully customizable. And we can continue to add photos too. These are drop zones. So if you go to your media tab up here right next to the inspector, it'll link with your photos, or aperture, or whatever. And we can simply drag any photos that we have. And it'll drop right in there. That's not a very good photo. And we can change all this Ipsum Latin out into English. And so if you just play around with pages here, you're going to have a lot of fun and see that it's very customizable. And you can make some great looking documents from scratch or with these templates. Stay tuned. University of Mac will be covering more pages in depth. Or go to universityofmac.com and subscribe if you like these videos.